China's counting the cost of its health care. Yang Hongxia, a bus conductor, spends her entire salary on her husband's medication. He's suffering from a brain tumour. And government health insurance only covers part of the cost. The family survives with handouts from relatives. When my husband fell sick, he was a young man. We didn't have a lot of savings. It's a huge burden for us. As Beijing expands provisions for health care, government spending is soaring. It's made clear that reform is required to rein in costs. It's investigating possible price fixing in up to 60 pharmaceutical companies. Last month, a detained executive from the British firm GlaxoSmithKline confessed in state TV that his company paid bribes to doctors so they prescribe its drugs. He said the bribes were then absorbed into the cost of the drugs, pushing up prices by a third. GlaxoSmithKline has said it appears some of its local staff acted outside the company's processes. Five employees working for other foreign drugs firms have confirmed to the BBC that they've witnessed corruption, including this salesman who didn't want to be identified for fear of losing his job. At one hospital, our product was no longer on sale, so we paid about $1,000 to a senior doctor to get a drug back on the shelves. My manager approved it. In a system overwhelmed by patients, corruption isn't limited to drug sales. Using hidden cameras, we filmed tanks illegally selling appointments outside a Beijing hospital. They're so well established, they even have business cards. This tank told us if we paid him $50, he could get us an appointment that afternoon. Well, families here spend a huge chunk of their savings when they get sick. And by tackling corruption, the authorities hope to make health care cheaper. What the government wants is people to spend their money in different ways in order to drive domestic growth. But for Yang Hongsha, any thoughts about holidays or new furniture remain a distant dream. Until the drugs get cheaper, the best they can hope for is to just scrape by. Mars Impatience, BBC News, Beijing.